Right, we are almost done. Luzanne is right over there. Well, right over there is still a long way. The trail that we're supposed to actually, number three, is under construction down there. And uh, this is the alternative route for this year. Uh, which is kind of neat because it gives us some altitude again. And now we're looking at the western side of Lake Geneva. Still lots of vineyards. But you see the terracing has dropped off a lot. And this is almost a suburb of Luzanne. When we round the corner here, we'll start getting into the suburbs. Luzanne's expanded a lot. As you can see, not a bad place to live. It's, I still can't get over how calm the lake is today. That is a big lake. All right, I am nine miles in, four hours. Taking my time. Uh, word of advice: the you know we're not in the woods, so uh, as far as bathroom management, it's basically like a suburban hike. Uh, there are some public bathrooms when you get into the towns if you look for them, but uh, <laughs> the hike in between towns doesn't leave a lot of options. So be forewarned. And same with food. Uh, there was a co-op that I found in Kole, but this is pretty far removed. And luckily, there was a you know a stand selling sandwiches, a little glass of wine, up in the mountains halfway, which is good. I thought there would be well, there's sit-down restaurants after sit-down restaurant. I mean, it is wine territory. So if you want to go and sit down have a big meal you can certainly do that but for the small meal surprising how difficult it's been so just beware certainly the view makes up for a lot and if you want to cheat at any time get the boat schedule and hop from one town to the next and they probably have food on the boat certainly a bathroom <laughs> not not a bad way to move around Lake Geneva by boat Look at these trees. Yeah, I'm sure that's a restaurant right there. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I'll see you in Luzanne. All right, we're coming to an end. Stage 24, we're still kind of in the suburbs of Luzanne. Got probably another half hour of hiking, but it's pretty nice now. Lots of people out today, which is great. Uh, makes it a little harder to film though. <laughs> so I got, uh, I'm gonna come in probably a little over 12 miles in about six hours. Didn't make huge time, but I really enjoyed myself. And took my time, I sat down along the lake a bunch, which I recommend. And I've just been coming in at the same pace as the sailboat. <laughs> It's kind of fun. All right, well, thank you for joining me today. And uh, tomorrow we move on. Section 25 from Luzanne. We'll get a little bit more of that in. I'm gonna do some sunsets as well. And maybe a sunrise. It's been a great view all day. Gosh, look at this all day long. So, this is a great place to do a lakefront walk, run, ride, and you get some good, good views of the mountains. Uh, the tall one back there, I hope you had a good time today watching the mountains change colors. The tall one is Ochi, Ochi, like the part of Lucerne we're going into. And then there's a stumpy one over there that I think is Mount Blanc. Uh, so I rounded the corner, and of course I rounded the corner right into the Olympic Park. 
Olympic Museum, uh, the whole lakefront in front of Luzanne. So, let's enjoy this until the battery runs out. This is, uh, Luzanne is the uh, home of the International Olympics. And this is a uh, kind of a whole section that's dedicated to that museum, parks. Of course, we've got the beautiful lakefront still. We weren't supposed to get any rain, so I don't, I mean, it looks like there's a little shower going on over there in the distance, but otherwise it should be a beautiful sunset.